Hello friends, uh, in this video we will see a problem related to the FCF, okay, so that is highest common factor, okay, uh, there is one person is there like Mr. B and uh, he wants to plant, he wants to plant 36 banana trees, 36 banana trees and 144 apple trees and 234 orange trees 234 orange trees in his garden ok so if he wants to plant the equal number of trees in every row he wants to plant he wants to plant equal number of trees in each row in each row he wants to plant equal number of trees in each row but the rows of uh, each row and put the rows of uh, banana, apples and orange trees are separately ok so if your row is there the row must contain a banana or apples or orange only ok so you know but the rows uh, so equal number of trees in each row but the rows of ok but the rows of uh, but the rows of banana and apple and uh, orange orange trees will be trees will be separate trees will be separate so equal number of trees in each row and each row must contain only one kind of tree so that is banana or apples or orange okay so then the minimum number of rows in his garden so we have to find the minimum number of rows in his garden minimum number of rows in his garden ok so Mr. B wants to plant 36 banana trees 144 apple trees and 234 orange trees so each row must contain the equal number of trees and each row must contain only one type of uh, trees that may be banana or apples or oranges so then we have to find the minimum number of uh, rows in the garden so if the minimum number of rows in the garden so that means so each row must contain maximum number of trees ok each if the minimum number of rows in a garden so that means each row must contain must contain maximum number of trees maximum number of trees so maximum number of trees how we can find out of this 36 and 144 and 234 so each row must contain the maximum number of trees so that maximum number of trees in each row is given by the HCF of that number of trees that is 36 banana trees 144 apple trees and 234 orange trees so this HCF of 36, 144 and 234 will give the, the number of trees in each row. So that is actually the maximum. Okay. So the HCF of 36, 144 and 234, how you will find? We take the maximum number that is 234 and we divide that one by smallest number. So that is 36. So 36, 6, 230, I mean 216. So the remaining is 18. And next to me, maximum is 144. So 18 age of 144 that is 0. So whenever we are getting the reminder, so we take the divider as the HCF. So that is the HCF of 36, 18, I'm 144 and 234 is 18. So that means each row contains 18 trees. Each row contains 18 trees. So, but we have to find the minimum number of rows. Minimum number of rows means actually maximum number of trees in a row so the maximum number of uh, trees in your row is 18 so we got the number of trees in your row so now to find the total number of rows number of rows is equal to total number of trees by total number of trees by okay so number of trees in each row number of trees in each row so the total number of trees is how much? 36 plus 144 by 2 plus 234. Right? So that is going to be 36 plus 
144 plus 234 by so number of trays in each row so that is 80 so this is going to be equal to so 36 plus 144 it is 150 180 okay so 180 plus 234 483 is 11 so that is going to be equal to 414 so 414 by 18 okay 2 9 ja, okay 207 okay so 207 by 9 okay so 9 2 ja, 18 9 3 ja, 27 okay so there are 23 rows are there so there are 23 rows are there and each row contains the maximum number of trees that is 18 okay so these are the 23 is the actually minimum number of rows and each row contains the maximum number of trees 18 that is of same kind so i hope you got this one thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel